Welcome. Today we're going to set up and configure your brother machine to scan to a network shared folder. This video will cover multiple models and operating systems. Even though your machine may not match the model on the screen, the overall process will be the same. Before you begin, you'll need to verify that the date and time are set correctly on your machine. We will begin by locating the IP address for your brother machine by printing a network configuration report. From the Basic Functions screen, press the Settings icon on the touchscreen. Press All Settings, arrow down, and press Print Reports. Arrow down again, and press Network Configuration. Press Yes. Once the Network Configuration report prints, you'll need to locate your IP address on the report. You'll need this information later in the process. Next, you'll need to create a shared folder. Create the folder by right-clicking on your desktop or window and selecting New. Then select Folder. Right-click on the folder and select Properties. Then click on the tab marked Sharing and set the folder to Share. After you've shared the folder, you'll need to make a note of the network path listed within the folder. You'll need to use this to configure your brother device. For the purposes of this video, we will copy and paste the network path into a text file for later use. Next, open a web browser on your computer, and in the address bar, enter your IP address from the network configuration report. Then press Enter on the keyboard. Depending on your network, your IP address may look different than the one shown here. If your brother machine is password protected, you'll need to enter the password in the login box. Click on the Scan tab, and then click on Scan to FTP slash SFTP slash Network slash SharePoint. Next, you'll need to set up a scan profile. To set the profile to scan to a network shared folder, select the radio button next to Network. Then scroll down and click Submit. To configure your new profile, click on the side link marked Scan to FTP slash SFTP slash Network slash SharePoint Profile. There you should find the network profile you've created. Click on the profile to start your configuration changes. First, select a profile name. For this video, we will use the name Network Scan, but you can choose any name you wish. Next, enter the network folder path you recorded earlier. You can also change other settings, such as file name, quality, or document size, at this time or later, as needed. Next, you'll need to provide user authentication. This is usually the username and password of the account or computer where the shared folder resides. If that account is on a domain, you may need to enter the domain name along with your username and password. Once all your settings are complete, click Submit. Finally, click Yes to test the network connection. If you receive the Test OK message, your setup is complete. You can now start scanning to your network folder. If you receive an error message, review your settings and resubmit. Thank you for choosing Brother.